Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free in Toulon. It is beautiful out today. Yesterday it was negative 18 degrees, which is insane. Today, I think it's like 30, 32, so it's a lot warmer. In fact, it's so warm, I'm able to just wear a long sleeve t-shirt outside, which is great because I can test out this Amazon 10 inch chainsaw against this Ryobi 10 inch chainsaw. Now, this is not an HP. This is a typical 10 inch chainsaw, and this is a typical 10 inch chainsaw as well. This runs off 20 volts. This one runs off 18 volts. And today we're just going to be very practical. We're going to see how well we can cut this log. This is a right around a five inch and six inch, uh, you know, call it a log, just tree that fell. I've been cutting it up and this is a perfect opportunity to test these out. So without further ado, let's see how they do. All right, let's see how easy it is to use one-handed, considering this is a small chainsaw. I know you're supposed to use two, but it's confined space. How, mo how mobile is it? All right, so let's talk about the construction of the two tools. Ryobi has a nice little primer right here. This is a, a push button, so you can push some of the bar oil out here. That's what keeps this lubricated. Um, you have your chain ten tensioner right here, which is pretty typical. And then over here, this is your shield guard or your chain guard that goes in there. You do have an onboard Allen key in order to get there. And then one side of the Allen key is your chain tensioner. So that's actually really nice to have. And that's pretty smart of Ryobi to do. Your battery goes in through the back right here. So you slide it in, you put it there, and that works with all the batteries. 18 volt, one plus batteries from Ryobi. Now for the Akea DIY or AKD, this is a bit different, and you've seen these on some of the other ones. Uh, so this is a toolless um, guard and chain tensioner. So the inside, if you unlock it and you pull it this way, this will actually come off. And then there's that. But the outside, what you have to do with these, so we put it back on. Before you tighten it, you get it about, I don't know, a, a little bit tight. The outside of it, you actually turn this way and then that tensions your chain. So, and then all you have to do once it's tight, you just tighten this down. All right, so that's all you have to do. You put in your oil up here. There's no primer or anything. You see your level there. Uh, your battery goes in the bottom just like this. These are both four amp hour lithium ion batteries. Personal preference, I hate this. I hate this combination thing because it is so freaking finicky. It is just, it's just very annoying to me. I like having two different adjustments right here. It's just easier for me, personal preference, whatever you want to call it, that's fine. But I would say performance-wise, uh, they both did pretty well. I think Ryobi did a little bit better than the Acadia. Um, this is, <laughs> and um, but maybe that's just for the pure engineering that goes into it and the um, everything that comes with Ryobi. I'm not sure, but 
the uh, motor felt a lot better. It ramped up a lot more. It felt a little bit stronger. That's not saying that this wasn't a bad tool. Um, I would say that this one is a bit heavier. So anyways, everybody, hope that you all enjoyed this. I hope that it was interesting seeing the, uh, the nice Amazon tool against the Ryobi tool. If you thought it was interesting, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Share it as well. You know, that's cool. Share with your friends. And uh, we hope to see you in the next one. Take care.